A lovely sweet potatoes, ketchup, cockney sparrow, nice biscuits, chicken tikka, tomatoes, celery, couscous, chips, beans and egg, nice. Come in, sit down. Hey, me the bungalow! Hey, me the bungalow! Hey, me the bungalow! Hey, me the bungalow! Back for another Saturday morning, you up. Pick and dump in the bungalow, grab the handle. Woo! Yeah. Oh, right there. Yeah. How are you doing there, Anna? I'm fine. Are you a Cornish pasty? Yeah. It's oh. our first bungalow, eh? Where are you all from? Cornell. Whereabouts in Cornwall? Um, Hale. Hey, yeah. hey, Cornwall. Let's, let's take your bag and welcome you to the bungalow. And give welcome. it some well, give welcome, it some welcome, welcome. Hey. Oh, All right, now, Hannah, come down here and stand here. You're most welcome, really. Have a piece of toast. Have a piece of toast. Oh, no, you can't. Oh, no, you later. Can't. All right, Hannah, you're 11 years old at the moment, aren't you? Yeah. How exciting. So that means next year you're going to be... 12. Wow. OK, and you want to be an artist yeah. and go into the jungle and paint animals. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Well, the good news is uh, there's a monkey over here and a lost badger. And so come over here. Oh, <laughs> and, uh, no. and if, you, if you want to paint animals, you can go and paint. Paint them. Oh. Oh, paint them. Go we'll paint some animals. Yeah, let's all paint them with you. There you are. Paint, 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 paint. Oh, paint, paint this is what you've always paint, wanted paint, to do, paint, Hannah. Paint, paint. We've made your dream come true. Look at that. Oh, paint, painting paint, animals. Paint, 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 paint. Paint, paint, paint. Dolphins. Hannah, come and sit in the field. It feels amazing. It feels amazing. Hannah, carry on doing that. We'll get the next bungalow head in. Who's next? Hello. Good morning. Listen, Tasha, you're on telly, you're in the bungalow, you've just met Dick and Dom, be more excited, do it again. Okay. Sorry about that. Hello, you keep doing that and we'll meet our second bungalow head. Yay! That's our best thing. Hi, hello. Hello. Cornwall, Cornwall, Cornwall. Yeah. Cornwall, Cornwall. Oh, and uh, this is Tasha. How old are you, Natasha? Eleven. And what have you brought with you here? I bought Cornish. You're going to dress up as Cornish pixie. We're going to dress up as Cornish pixies, are we? Are we indeed? Right. Okay. Then Dom, put on your uh, bits oh, and bobs. Do I have to as well? Oh no, no, that's pixies. just all for you. It's all for me. Yeah. The wig, the wig, and the and the wig and the beard. <laughs> the beard. <laughs> <laughs> you got Cornish pixie. Right, lovely. And uh, Hannah. Uh, it says here you're a bit of a nosy parker and are always listening to other people's conversations. Is that true? Yeah. If you haven't heard the full story, you will make up the rest, OK? I'm going to give you a story. You've got to fill in the missing blanks, all right, then? Yeah. So, here's the story. Once upon a time, me and... Kerry. Kerry went to the... Shop. Where we enjoyed a nice... Game of bogeys. Game of bogeys. It was so much fun that we decided to... Play it again. And then we ran all the way home. What a lovely story. Did you like that? Yes. It really was brilliant. Oh, thank, thank you, you very much. <laughs> oh, by the way, wait, wait, wait. Let's find out how the paint's gone on. Have you enjoyed painting animals? Yes. Thank you. Put that down. Thank you very much to the badger, to the monkey, and to the dolphin that we never saw. Lovely. Lovely. Dolphin. Who's next? It's a boy. It's our first one. Come on, John. Come on, Yes. Give me five. Yes. <laughs> All right then, so Jordan, take off yeah. your bag because you're welcome to the bungalow. Welcome, you're going to be here for the whole weekend, aren't you? Yeah! yeah. Watch out. Watch out. Now, you're here today on uh, BBC One and the CBBC Channel at the same time, but tomorrow we're here on the CBBC Channel from 9 o'clock to 11 with you, aren't we, and all your mates. Yeah. What's that? A Cornish pasty with Cornish colours with a really? scarf. What should we call it? Look at that. Bungalow viewers, what should we call this mad thing? It's a Cornish pasty with a Cornish hat and Cornish scarf. What should we call it? Bungalow at bbc.co.uk. Bungalow at bbc. What a lovely gift. Gifts from the and, uh, have, you, have you got a special talent? Yeah, I can count to 20 in um, Italian. Oh, so you have a special talent. Well, why don't you count to 20 in Italian? Italiano music and go. Uno, due, tre, quattro, cinquante, sette, otto, nove, dieci. Un dieci, tre, du dieci, tre dieci, quattro dieci, sei dieci, dieci, sette, dieci, otto. 
teaching Nerf Fenton. You know what? He's, 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 he's amazing. Just, 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 he's so amazing. I'm gonna give Luigi over here. Twenty. He's twenty. What's twenty? Fenton. Fenton, bungalow, pointos. Fenton, 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 I'm called Rebecca. And you're called Rebecca? I'm called Beck. Rebecca. Beck, for sure. Beck. Beck. So is and that what you like to be called, Beck? Yeah. How old are you, Beck? I'm 11. 11, Anything lovely. interesting in your bag? What have you brought with you? Spare set of clothes? Yeah, very I wise see. here on the bungalow, very wise. Indeed. Nothing embarrassing so, in there, is there? No. Like that. Any embarrassing things ever happened to you? Well, once I was in Penzance and a bird peed on my head. A what? Oh, a bird, a seagull. A seagull peed? <laughs> ah! You mean like this? <laughs> There's a seagull oh. appeared in the bungalow. Watch oh. out! It's loving it's stuck all over my face. Get off, see that. Oh, get off. Oh, oh, get off. oh, oh you're a dumb bet. Your embarrassing man that has happened last oh, night. Oh, what did you eat last night? Oh, 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 bad meal. Oh, 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 on live television in the bungalow, or is it more embarrassing um, in Penzance? Penzance. In Penzance, lovely. Thank hey, you. Uh, welcome. 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 What's that? What's it? It's your pixie outfit. Oh, welcome, welcome, welcome. It's another bungalow head. And what's your name, another bungalow head? Katie. Okay. Katie, okay, are you the littlest one of the, all the bungalow heads? Yeah. Are you? Lovely. Yeah, okay. Yeah, put that on. Right. Right. And what have you got in your box for us? Pasties. Pasties? <laughs> Look at this. Oh, wow. These are whoppers. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Who that. made these? Right, here, yeah, one for you. Hannah. Who do you make them? Uh, on them. Yeah, go on. Do you know what? I've got to say, you never get a Cornish pasty like the ones you do in Cornwall. So, uh, are you going to eat it? It's a dicky whopper and a is it, is it got meat in it or veg? Meat. I don't know. It's got oh, meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cold. Oh. Yeah, but they're all right. Cold. Get in the microwave! Stick it in the microwave! <laughs> Kaylee, are you excited to be here? Yeah. And what are your tic tacs to win the bungalow? Tactics, he means. You've dropped him! Oh, no, no! no, no, no that was her tactic. No, that, no, that was her tactic. That was She's going to go around dropping pasties. <laughs> well, 15 that... bungalow points for the pasties. We'll eat them later. Thanks, Kaylee. And finally this morning... What's up? What's up? Years ago, mate. Uh, it's Tez. It's Tez. Oh, Tez, no. Ten. It's ten, 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 ten years old. It says here you're ten years old, and you love it when your gran pops her first teeth out of her mouth. Yeah. Right, that means your love our new game, which is called Granny Snog Quiz. On later. Yeah. And here in the bungalow, we like to welcome people. So just for you, I'm not reading this. Uh, <laughs> please welcome Grandpa Goodman doing the false teeth fandango. This is Grandpa Goodman. Tess. Hello, Hello. 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 You do the waltzy tingle and you turn around. And that's what it's all about. Let's do it one more time. You put your. Oh. You ready? Oh. Good. Ah, you put your false teeth in. You take your false teeth out. In, out, in, out. You shake them all about. You do the waltzy tingle and you turn around. And that's what it's all about. Good. 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 Good.
You don't get the primates, but you do get the go-kart, the telly, and the DVD, 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 and the DVD. Who was that? Me! Oh, and also, if you win Saturday's bungalow at 11 o'clock this morning, if you've got the most bungalow points, there's one more prize! Look! It was a portable DVD player! Right, now, now you lot, sling your up. Go on, go get ready for the next game. Go on, get ready for the next game. Be excited about it. Go on, it's a game. Go on. Oh, no, not this twit. You lot can join in with the bungalow as well this morning. Here's the twit with your prizes. It's in the fact, prizes. We should oh. start scoring them down. Who's Mate. this with you? Oh, this this is my cousin, oh, Miles O'Keefe Patrick John. Oh, you're playing, how are you doing? What? How are you doing? What 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 where what country do you come from? Your mum. What? Your mum? No. <laughs> country from That's which stupid. you <laughs> very stupid. Hey? Not clever about it. Not clever, but Come and get someone that speaks Irish next time! <laughs> come, come, it's the come, prize come Egypt here. Here. from Ireland! Where does he come from? I have absolutely no idea. I don't know. I, I have, no idea. Yeah, have you ever met him before? I've met him, but I don't know who he is. I've got a feeling he actually lives the other side of us. He's an odd-looking bloke, isn't he? Isn't he? <laughs> yeah, it's a bit stupid. Does your horn work? Mm, not sure. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> right, what prizes have you got for oh, These are cabbage earmuffs. Cabbage earmuffs. Oh. Would you like, do they work now? Do they work now? Do they work no, now? No, no, no. <laughs> they don't, but that is nice. Yes. This is yeah, for that's yeah. the stuff. Now, today, I'm going to be attempting to eat lard. How much lard will I eat? You decide. I know I know the one. No, why are you going to do an Irish jig? Go on. All of you, do an Irish jig. Irish jig. That's it. You're meant to be from Ireland. Go on, do an Irish jig, for goodness sake, man. Do an Irish jig. Oh, that's enough. Right, oh, what, what are these? What are these? What are these? Ghostly spirits. Ghostly, Ghostly spirits. spirits. Right. AKA okay. gross practical gross. jokes. Right. Is that the right. right? Lovely. It's Halloween, Halloween tomorrow, tomorrow, of course. Yeah. All right, and, and you also a, get yeah, remote control. A Trumpy remote Lovely. control. I mean, it's not working. Ah, mm. oh, there we are. Right, so there we go. So, Bungalow thanks. at BBC.co.uk. BBC. BBC. Oh, okay. And uh, what's the email subject for today? Oh, the email subject is who is more stupid, me or my cousin, and why? All right, then, did you get that, everyone? Okay, who's more stupid out of these two prats? Hey, uh, who is more stupid? I think, and why? I think I've made my mind up already. I don't know about you. Right then, thank you very much. Oh yes. Ta-ra! Ta-ra! Dad, did you realise that we're on your television sets for one hour and 50 minutes? How long? One hour and 50 minutes. How long? So that means we've got to fill that time. We've got to give you games and competitions and cartoons, and this is what's on <laughs> until 11. On the condom! Fairly on parents! Fairly on parents! Da-da-da-da-da-da! I love that, 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 bungalow boffins. I like bungalow boffins. <laughs> that crazy. Wow! We have got an all new game for you today. It's called the all electric Granny Snog Sing Quiz. It. What could it be? Find out later. Bear of bogeys. Bear of bogeys. All that and much, 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 much. I'm filling time because the bungalow heads aren't ready. Much, 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 much. Put a flipping straight jacket on! Much, 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 much. Flip it on ya! Much, 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 more! took them so long to get ready is because we're trying to make it harder this week because they're covered in gaffer tape and chains. The bungalow jailer has wrapped them all up. Uh, now listen, bungalow heads, here's a little secret and please don't get out of it because you've got one minute on the clock to try and get out of your straight jackets with chains and gaffer tapes. If any of you do get out of these, then we have to play painty, painty, paint, paint, painty, paint, paint. Painty paint, 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 painty paint, paint. Much, much, And much. we don't really want to be playing that because we like our clothes today. So uh, you got one minute to get out of that. If you do get out of that, then you get... And... Uh, 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 80 bungalow points. 80 bungalow points. The time starts now. Everybody get out of that bungalow head. And if you get out of that, you can have a swipe to the post. It's what it's supposed to be, right? We've got toes oh, waiting oh. for you. Yeah, come on. Do you have to use your hands? Come on, get out of it. Your toast is going cold. Your toast is... Your toast. 
Here, yeah, come on, you got 40 seconds left. Got the loop warm. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's quite no, easy. You just come out of it. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't. What's no. the matter Put with it back you? On the... Here, sorry, love you. Just got the vine. Sorry, no, no. Are you there? Uh, no. no. Saturday morning. Here we are. We're back. Here, Ooh. should we have a rave? A bit of Rosala for you as well. <laughs> Morning. <laughs> Come on, anyone for a slice of toast? You can have it if you get your arms free. What's oh, going on? Cheers, there you go, mate. Lovely. Is it Hannah? Wow. Hey, red wow. for you. A little, little bit of red paint. Where are them twigs paint for you? Where are they? A little bit of paint. A little bit of paint on here for you. Paint yeah, it's nice, isn't it? That's yeah. a nice colour. You'll give me that, innit? A little bit of paint. Look, more little friendly. Bit of paint. There you go. Do you want to be able to be in your hair? Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. There you go, there you go. Nice. Oh, come, come, come on, come on. Come on, Melvin. Let's get going, mate. We've got to get them down. Do you know what I mean? I've got to get them down. All right, Steve. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Well, that paint's for me as well, I'll have some paint. I'll have some. Have a little bit on there. Everyone, don't you can't run away. You can't, you can run, but you can't hide. Yeah, you can't. I'm a decorator and I've got a job to do. Stop it! What's that? What happened? Right, well, what happened then? We just went out for a quick... Cup, cup did, tea. It, did anybody I get out? Cup of the plate. Right, nobody. You're the worst now, don't you? You're the worst, don't you? Nobody, nobody got out of that. Uh, who got the most paint? We'll give them. So you got the most paint, Tasha. We'll give you five bungalow points for that. All right, nice one. Right now, right. everyone sit down. This is gonna be the best bit. Everyone sit down. And now, why don't you, why don't you pick up a nice <laughs> treat there? No. Oh no, you can't. Look, Halloween treats. Yeah. Oh, go on, that's oh, right. Oh, right. That's oh, right. Perfect. Oh, right, you all have a munch on them while we watch my chops. Oh. See you in a bit. See you in a bit. <laughs> Wilden men, you have completed your potato peeling bed, and later on I'll be enjoying a nice chip supper. Good morning. I'm Gingangguli, and each week it says in the paper here that I'm going to be telling you about a famous town legend. Uh, this week we're talking about someone who hails from Pendle, likes to cackle a lot, and likes to flare around on a broomstick. Who am I talking about, man? Is it Anne Robinson? Don't be so sarcastic, Tess. I'm talking about the Witch of Pendle. I sent out head boy scout Dominic Wood onto the streets. He's dressed as the Witch of Pendle. He's going to find out how many people will join his gang. Ah, oh, you monkey! Frog of town! Sprig of dick and... <coughs> Sorry. I'm a Pendle Witch and I do what I do best over there at the Pendle Hills. And today I've come here to Nelson to see how friendly the people are and to see if they'd like to join my gang. Excuse me, um, I, I'm a witch and I was just wondering whether you would like to join my gang. Which gang? Uh, the gang that I'm in. Uh, by the way, all we have to do is put on a witch's hat, a witch's nose, and uh, walk around with me. Just be in my gang. You can bring a dog if you want. I can't. I've got to go to work now. Thank hey? you. I've got to go to work now. It's all right. Well, but it's you... okay. I was born on Halloween, so I'm a witch anyway. Are you? <laughs> Sisters. United. Mm. Uh, excuse me, lovely young ladies. Hello. <laughs> Now, I'm a witch, and I was wondering whether you would like to join my gang. Yeah, why not? Yes! All right, you put on those, put on the hat and get one of these. Okay. And both of you stick up your finger like that. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> yes! <laughs> There's a broom for you. How wonderful. Come with me. And these are a couple of witches, and I'm a witch. I was wondering if you'd like to be a witch too and join my gang. Well, not at the moment, dear, because I'm in rather a hurry. You don't look like you're in a hurry. <laughs> it's all right. I, if, I'll lend you one of my broomsticks later, then you're going to get there in no time. I've already got one. Uh, excuse me, sir. Can I hold you for two oh, seconds? Oh, Busy, they always are. <laughs> I was wondering if you'd like to put on a nose, put on a hat and join my gang. Certainly. Yes! <laughs> and there's your broomstick. And welcome... Oh. Ah! <laughs> and welcome to my gang. Right, OK, come on. Everyone, follow me. Oh. 
I was wondering if you two fine ladies would like to be a couple of witches too and join my gang. Well, we won't need much costume, will we? I mean, you are so hard on yourself. <laughs> Come on, would you like to put on another yes, hat? Go on then, right, two noses, two hats, and join my gang. This will be an improvement. <laughs> You're right. Oh. It looks lovely. I put on the hat, yeah. and that's <laughs> two more. Would <laughs> you like to join my gang? <laughs> yes, Fantastic! <laughs> Do you know any real witches? Yeah, just know them. Oh, help me. <laughs> I'll hit my balls in, it's not very nice. Right, and uh, that's, that's two more people in my gang. Right. That's another one in the witchy gang. Oh, you can. Hey? Can we be in your gang? Of course you can. What, and then little Baba as well. Uh, there we are, there's a nose for you. I don't need a witchy nose, there's, there's, there's a hat for you. And there's a hat for your little baby. There you go, wonderful. Oh, she's asking to be in the gang. She's asking to be a witch in my gang. How exciting! I'm the witch hunter, general. I beg your pardon. I'm Dan Dan, the witch hunter, general. There you are. You're yeah. a witch hunter. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh my God! Are you sure you don't want to be a convert and change from being a witch hunter to being a witch? I am warm to Brad. All right then. How about you kiss her? Don't. All right, right. <laughs> witch is a nose and a hat. <laughs> oh, lovely. Now put it in your hat. And we've got another man. In the witchy cub. <laughs> Colin, this way, right, this way. Bubble, bubble, toilet trouble. My work here is done, my little pretties. And at the end of the day, in Nelson, I've managed to get 11 witches in my cover. <laughs> oh, <powder. laughs> oh, Molly. Men, I realised I gave you the wrong badge. Yes, you've already got the warm the hands on the fire badge, but now peel the potatoes and you'll get the peel the potatoes badge. Right then, so the witch of Pendle managed to get 11 people to join his gang. Uh, I'm now going to write on the scoreboard here, the witch of Pendle, I'm going to write 11. 11, there we are. Now I'm going to bring in the witch of Pendle himself. It's uh, Boy Scout leader, Mr. Dominic Wood. Looks like Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, oh, that's in a few weeks' time. That's in a few weeks' time. Right then, you lot, you now have, because 11 people joined his gang, yeah, you now right. have 11 seconds on the clock in which to immortalise the witch in gold. You've got to paint him. Your time starts now. Immortalise the witch. You haven't even done anything. You've only got three seconds left. Failed in that bed. And now I'm going to take a photo of it. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> take, a, take a photo. <laughs> right, lovely, <Lydia>. Right. <laughs> right, and now you lot, it's now our gang law. Hands up, please. We always do our best. Think of others. Come on, keep up. <laughs> do you know this? Right, read it. We always we do, do our, our best. best. We think of others before ourselves, ourselves and, and do a good turn every, every day. day. Turn, men, turn! Right! Wiggle, wiggle your woggle and sing my song, because I am King Ganguly and this is my song. Saturday, it's time to welcome the king of the kings of chat. It's Barky Clackinson. <laughs>
Cream. That's actually Lauren. Pig fat. Yeah. Right, who's on the actually, phone? fat drained from his neck. Hello, who's there? Is it Hello. Carol? Who's that? It's Carolyn. Oh, he's got a bit of a bad line, isn't and he? What's your full name and where do you come from? Um, my name is Carolyn Clone and I come from Ride Isle of Wight. I, I, well, that'll explain the bad phone line. Why? Do they, so, what's wrong so, with so, Do you think they haven't got good phones over, over there? Over the ocean, it has to go up there, back down and beam it all around. Right then, <laughs> stay there. Ooh. What's he going on about? That was a technical explanation. Look, look at the state of me. I can't stop speaking. Mother wanted me to be a lawyer. I can't stop speaking like that, dude. <laughs> Hello. Hello. All right, there. Uh, you sound about as happy as me. Come on, you Lotus. All right, all right, all right. Lotus. Lost, lost us. Lost us. Are we lost? Are we lost, you? Yeah, lost you? Yeah, you? You have lost us. What? Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. Ah, what? Oh, what? Lost us. Lost us. Lost you spelt my name wrong. Ah. It's L-O-S-T-U-S, not L-O-S. Tell the boy. Oh, Loftus. Yes. All right, can you just make Do you want to smack my wrist? OK, ready? Smack my wrist. Oof. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> right, Loftus. All right, then, Loftus. From, from, um, Penketh. Penketh from Warrington. Stay. Hey, stay. 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 No, stay. Bogies. stay. No, 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 bogies. no bogies. No bogies. No bogies. No. No. My baby sister says bogies. No, no, she doesn't. Not now. Yes, she does. No. Yes. What? I can't believe I'm talking Daddy. to a piece of plastic. Daddy, a digi can dance. Bogies. Hey. No bogies. 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 Right. <laughs> Here's me. This is me, everyone. It's me. Oh, look at him. Look at him, everyone. It's me. Who? It's him. Richard McCall. Yeah, there he is. Am I 28? Can't hey, I look like you are. Hey, nearly 30. And still a children's presenter. I am faster than a milk float, me, you know, mate. Faster than a milk float. I definitely trot easily. <laughs> I know that. I've seen him in the morning. Uh, I'm ready for a minute. Who cares? Right. So there we are. How that much is that? How much of that stuff am I going to masticate? Right, Carolyn. Yeah. How many uh, yeah. pipefuls of that do you think I'm going to have? I'm five. five Hi, thanks. I think someone stood next to her on the phone going... All right, then. Go on, listen to it again. Actually, can we listen to Carolyn again? Listen. Carolyn? Yeah? <laughs> yeah? No, we just wanted to hear the Trumpy man standing next to you. Right. All right, <laughs> then. Uh, Anna? Loftus? Yeah? Bogies? Um, ten. <laughs> ten. Ten. Five and ten. OK, then, bungler heads. I'm with Carolyn. Five. He's with Loftus 10. Choose your team now. <laughs> you will get 10 bungalow points if you're right. If you're wrong, you'll get diddly squit. Right then, everyone, it's me trying to eat lard. Three, what's, two, one. What's going to happen? Go.
Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, got another no, one. It's gone, mate. Wait, 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 wait. No, wait. Cut it out. What? 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 Ah! It stopped it. Cut it out. It fired out my mouth. Hey. I've had enough of it. So anyway, yeah. so. Carolyn yeah, won. Carolyn won, which means that you three are the winners, Beck uh, and Jordan. Ten bungalow points each. Nicely done. Nice. Nice. And, nice. and Carolyn, Carolyn, you win the earmuffs. Yay! And we'll also send you the block of lard. I'll tell you what, we'll stick the earmuffs in the block of lard. You can have it all. There you are. Do you like that? Uh, right. Oh, uh, Near body move. You take them, Inspector. Hurry back, Scotland Yard. Lord Squad. It was Lord. It... I ate it. I didn't mix Listen, it up. Listen, son. Calm down. Calm down. Do. Right. <laughs> you said do. What I've got to say to you <laughs> is this. Well done. Proper man. Cheers. Ate the lard. Dom's legged it. Not like the little weedy blurt you do the rest of this year with. He's legged it. What are you going to do now? Where's he gone? <laughs> yeah. He should it. have been eating this last week <laughs> instead of yogurt. <laughs> <laughs> it's people like him <laughs> that get Alan Shearer to retire <laughs> early. <laughs> right, oh. He's a pansy. <laughs> Doesn't like garlic mayonnaise. Hmm? Well done, you lot. And you lot, you three, you lost because uh, you went with the team with ten, and that means that you get. Back now. You pansy. It's only garlic mayonnaise. Hey! I'm only... waiting! I'll have you, son! <laughs> Keep taking the pills. Right then, OK. Everybody all right? Lovely. That was great. Nice one. Thank you. Get back here, Dom! Spaghetti hoops, right? Noodles in a pot. I love all that. I don't like posh food. Caviar? I don't think so. Octopus? Who's going to eat an octopus? They're wicked! Wobbly legs and all that. Eight of them sploshing about. Oh, man, I want to kiss an octopus. Is that wrong? Kiss them, don't cook them. What you got cooking? Fancy a cartoon. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he's not here, he's gone! Right, magic video. <laughs> okay, it's only garlic mayonnaise. <laughs> What's wrong with you, man? Pull yourself together, man. More than that. It's mayonnaise with garlic, a hint of garlic. I'm dressed as a witch with a bald head painted gold. I do not want any more. Well, this is gold. Oh. <laughs> yeah, could be on channel one there. Oof. Well, that was professional, wasn't it? Okay, <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> Right, here's a good recipe for you, right? Right, get some ingredients, right, anything, right, put them in a bowl, tear up some herbs, right, put them in Grandad's cardigan pocket, jiggle him about a bit, then pop it in the oven for half a blinking hour until it stinks. What you got cooking? Let's get that recipe, Bungle Ed. Sounds like a good one, that, doesn't it, eh? Hold on a minute. Ah. <laughs> On cue. <laughs> Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's that pink and floppy. <laughs> Lovely to see you all again. Now, I was just out there, then I came in here, and I'm just wondering if I can use your 200 watt, two, uh, two cubic meters square uh, microwave. It's just over there in the corner, mate. Oh, wonderful. Don't mind if I do. I think my butt, don't you? <laughs> ah, hair pink and floppy. Yes, yes, that's me. I think I am. Yes, it is. Knock, knock. Tennis. <laughs> tennis. Tennis five plus five. <laughs> oh, tennis five plus five. I suppose if you square root and multiply by five, they make three of well, I've got to say, that was a mild fun. I mean, the surface area of this madly, the times by the weight and the height, he pulls us maybe... If you've just joined the bungalow, here's a reminder of who everybody is. This is Hair Pink and Floppy. His hair is pink and floppy, which is lucky. His hobbies include donkey dancing and caravans. His arms aren't real, they're made of carpets and glue. This is Hannah. She swapped her bike for a pineapple and instantly regretted it. The pineapple didn't have any brakes, so she fell off. This is Jordan. A tiny horse lives under his bed who does little poos made of glue, which he uses to stick up all his posters of Fern Britain. As for the the rest of them, who knows what they'll get up to as we continue to watch this morning's edition of Dick and Dom in the Bungalow! This means that if the cubic area and the centripetal force with a centripetal force means that this would really, really hurt, like this. Thank right, you. email. Yeah. Okay, thanks for emails this morning, viewers. 
Bye, Happy Club Fee! Goodbye, I'll be again uh, back in two night years. Yeah, hurry up, <laughs> hurry up, because I've got all these emails to do. Uh, hello, Dick and Dom. I think you should call the pasty. Yeah, we had that Cornish pasty on earlier that the bungalow had brought in. You should call the pasty Corny McDomdo. Also, I think the green one is more stupid because what kind of idiot dies that. Oh, yeah, I was just walking down the street and uh, I walked past Air Brink of Lobby. Shout out. Very good looking guy. I don't, know what, talented. I don't know what that email was all about, James Haslam, but you win some of that. Emma, Emma, Emma. One more. I think that you should call it Jethro for no apparent reason. Cheers. <sighs> From Richard Poole. Uh, you get e that. E email us something else. Bungle on bbc.co. Yeah, there's the doorbell. There's the doorbell again. It's busy this morning, eh? Hey, 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 come here. What's, What's your, your name? name? Katie. Why are you here? I'm the bungalow boffin. What's your game called? Bucket Mayhem. Ooh. You've been at home inventing a brand new game for the show. And now we're going to test it live on the bungalow. Will it be a triumph and beautifully thought through? Or will it be a shambles, a pile of poopy woo? It's time to play... Bucket Mayhem. Oh, minus step, minus step, bungalow oh, heads. OK, then, it's so, the Bungalow so. Boffins game. It's called uh, Bucket Mayhem. Come round here, Katie. Stand on this bit here and tell everyone how your game works. The Bungalow Heads Kylie. divide into two teams, Dick's Dopey Dippers and Dom's Dippy Dopers. Dick and Dom wear costumes. I was thinking Kylie and Elvis. The idea is like paper, scissors and stones game, but with mess. Three types of mess, creamy, muck, muck, bogeys and baked beans. Bogeys beats creamy muck muck, creamy muck muck beats beans and beans beats bogeys. One player from each team is chosen to play the game. When I call it, they reveal what is in their buckets. For the, if the bungalow heads draw the same bucket, there is no win. What? If you hmm? win the, a round, you tip the bucket over the other player. Hey. Whoever has three buckets of mess over their head first is the loser. Everyone get that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, so now he's going to explain in shorthand what that means. <laughs> I know yeah. what. I'm Kylie. Yes. He's Elvis. Yeah, come on. Explain right. what it means. Yeah, no, that's not what it means. That's just what we're dressed like. Basically, it's like scissors, stones, spades, buckets. Papers. That's, that's what, what she, she said. said. Right, you did okay, a good then. job, by the way. Thank you very we're much. In, we're in two teams of three, so get yourselves in two teams of three bungalow heads. Oh, they've done, they done it. They've done it. Oh, wait, no, you... that's four. Here, go on, Bex. Oh, no, Taz. Oh, I don't care. If you look at the board here, you know, like scissors and stones, well, bogeys beats Creamy Muck Muck. Creamy Muck Muck beats beans and beans uh, beats bogeys. Yes, we've got buckets here full of those substances. Ooh. And then we're going to lift a bucket up onto the table, lift the lid, reveal what the substance is inside, and see which one beats which. If it beats that, you get the bucket over your head. Right then, let's get on with it. That's what the bungalow boffin just said. I know, I'm just repeating it all again. Oh, but... right, fair enough. Okay, right, first bucket. Right, so one of you take a Katie, take any bucket. This bucket, do you reckon? And put that it up on the there. table. Yeah, Come on. Get that one. That's right. Okay. Right, lift up a bucket. Yeah, we got it here. Right. Right. Are you ready to reveal it? Ready? On the count of three, Jordan and Hannah, reveal your buckets. One, two, three, go! Right, it's beans and bogeys. So, oh, beans, beans beats bogeys. So that means you get to pull that over Jordan's head. <laughs> Lovely game. Brilliant. Right then, next bucket. Bungle heads. Thank choose, you very much, Jordan. Choose your next bucket. There. Right, okay, who's going to go next? Tasha, Which you go next. Which are you going for? Okay, thank you very much. You can go stand over there. Game, please. Anyone, anyone, anyone. Right, that one. Oh, same two kids. Sorry, Jordan, you play all the games, and so does Hannah. Okay, then, we've got your second bucket. <laughs> Reveal the buckets, please. It's bogeys, and it's bogeys. So what happens there? Not a lot. Need, nobody wins. Nobody Ish. loses. That's Wait, it. Why are we putting them back? Right. It's okay. Next bucket. Visible. Choose your bucket, bungalow heads. <laughs> Katie, we're liking your game. Is this how you envisage it, Katie? Yes. Yes. Very, I've got to say, it's a very good game. Very good idea. Why are we dressed as Carly and Elvis? Ready? Right. I have no idea. <laughs> Reveal your bucket. It's creamy muck muck and bogey. The creamy yes. muck muck beats beef. bogeys beats creamy muck muck. Oh no. So bogeys. that means it goes over your head. Yeah. Yeah. Right, choose your next bucket. Thank you very much. Choose your next bucket. Choose your next bucket. <laughs> Next round, here it is. This will decide the winner. Before we start to lob all the rest, it's everywhere. Bucket. Right, reveal your bucket now! Oh it's yeah. creamy muck muck. It's beans and creamy muck muck. So, uh, creamy uh, muck muck beats beans! Yes! yes. Oh. oh, yeah! Yeah! yeah. That so, means that team wins the points! So I'll take Katie Cash and Jordan, you win! Uh, I don't know, how many do you reckon, Katie? 200 bungalow points. 200 bungalow points! Bungalow points. Bungalow points. Bungalow points. Yes. Marvellous, marvellous. <laughs> Katie, we will have a prize for you in a minute and it's going to be a nice portable DVD player for sending in that game. Is that okay? Yeah. 
Lovely. If you've got a game, you'd like to troll. If you've got a game, <laughs> you'd like to... I look like a troll. If you've got... Don't, please. What? If you've got a game you'd like to send in, <laughs> send all your details about the game, your name, your address, blah, blah, blah. Nick and Dom into the bungalow, PO Box 3889, Fallen, W126XA. Right, I'm legging it because he's going to love that. See you in a minute. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. <laughs> Here's what's happening for the rest of the morning on Dick and Dom in the Bungalow. It's the all-electric granny snob quiz. It's here to replace baby race. You'll love it. It's on in a bit. Fat things on as well. A classic for you. Uh, not oh God. The Bungalow. Battle. Bill Fox. Twin Turbo Bogey. this morning. They've got two heads and four legs. Parent bogeys as well. I'm playing, but who's going to win? And not forgetting a nice bit of Mac Mac, Mac Mac, creamy Mac Mac. Wow, what a show for you! Um, how long have we got left? How long have we got how left? Got left? Uh, 55 minutes, 55 minutes. 55 minutes, 55 minutes. But let's have a look at the bungalow. Bungalow scores at the moment. Hannah's got diddly squit. What's happened, Hannah? Hannah, come on. Tasha, you got 205. Jordan's in the lead with 230. Bex, come on, you're doing very well. You're neck and neck with Tez. You got 10 each. Kaylee, 215, and Tez, 10. I just said Tez has got 10. All oh, right, lovely. Pay me. attention, 007. And now, no. and Dumb. what about prizes? Are we showing prizes? No, we're not showing prizes. Why not? Later. And now. But I want to show some prizes. I like the monkeys. <sighs> And, and show the prize. I just want to see the monkeys. Just first prize, just first prize. Come on. No, I don't want to see third prize. Oh. And now I'm digging them in the bungalow. That was good. I don't like the monkeys anymore. Nice prizes, mate. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> really good prizes you can win. All together now. I feel like doing some Ciroc. It's a ladder. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Ah! What's that? It's all right, it's always there. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you wish you had a fast forward button at home? <laughs> no, we're okay, not shuttle yet, we need there. Come on, get up the stairs. I hope she doesn't rip my face oh. again. <laughs> Push it up. <laughs> Don't do it again. Right in the eye. Ah! <laughs> oh, in my mouth. <laughs> ah! I remember you as a kid. You terrified me then. What are you? Right, right. Here we are in the bungalow. <laughs> Stop laughing, it's terrifying. <laughs> now, it's as per usual. But here... Oh, by the way, I've got to say something, by the way. I used to live in a flat which was a converted slaughterhouse. I looked out the window and the view was awful. <laughs> the reason why I say that is because here I've got a bag full of awful. Hold that. Please. <laughs> So basically, you stay up here for 60 seconds. If you stay up here for the whole 60 seconds, each bungalow point gets turned... Well, each second gets turned into a bungalow point. Get it right, Dom. All right. However, if at any point you get too scared... Stop looking at me. If at any point you get too scared, just drop your guts. Don't forget, <laughs> Kaylee. if you ever get too scared, simply drop your guts. <laughs> <laughs> Big monsters, nasty flavors, hairy shoulders, no telly. Yo, 
your letter was only the start of it. Now you've done it, you've got to be part of it. Now you've done it, you must fix it for you. And you, and you. Oh, what a relief. <laughs> So, uh, Kaylee, did you drop your guts? <laughs> oh, I nearly lost so much and fell down the ladder. I thought I'd be silly. So, uh, oh, so we're going to go back down. Yeah, come back down the ladder! Oh, we're all right, I'm going to come back down the ladder oh, now! Point. What's you now? Point. Ah! 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 Tom! Ah! Come here, look! It's Dom! He's on the floor! Mate, you all right? Dom, get up, please! We're gonna go... Ah. OK. Did you get the points? <laughs> Nobody dropped their guts today. <laughs> she, gets, okay. uh, she gets 60 points. Lovely. Oh, look who's here. We've been nominated for a children's bath, by the way. Shut up, look who's here. Oh, Shut up! Woo! <laughs> Morning! Raimondo Farmer here, the altogether more Spanish kind of farmer, with a quick recap of Fairly Odd Parents. Now, our three little friends find themselves in a tricky situation over a large paella. Now, I'm just off to Malaga with Natasha Kaplinski for a quick paso doble. Ule, viva Espanio! weekend as well, eh? Charming. <laughs> Email Jake from Canterbury. I went to a circus yesterday. Should we sit down? Why not? I went to a circus yesterday. That's like real presenters. And the clowns, the clowns at the circus were like you, Dick and Dom, and they made us all wet. Wet? Yes. What? They must have been so funny, they wet themselves. Ah! Oh. Charming. You get a Halloween prize. Ta. What do they, what do they get? Uh, this. Gross stuff. Yeah, all that stuff there. Nice one. Bungalow at bbc.co.uk. Wonderful. I love food, right? It's wicked. I've got a bed made of tuna fish, a big sweetie house like in Hansel and Fingy, and my car's all made out of dog food. All tasty, pucker of cockney, sweet, nice chicken wings, cheese and pickle. How's your mum? What you got cooking? Are we ready to see the prize monkeys? We are this time. Now, well, let's have a third prize first. Third prize first, first prize third. There we go. Uh, it's a, um, it's a, yes, it's a petition. And yes. you've got to fill it in. It's about pollution in your area's questionnaire. It's quite interesting, and you can have hours of fun with it. That's the good news. If you don't like it, you can make it into a paper airplane. Prize two. two. Have a look. It's got a TV with some games and a console. Oh. Wow, and a Star Wars bit. And what about the prize mates primates? Would you like to uh, show them? Here. <laughs> to getting our filthy little hands on these prizes. Oh, it's the monkey hands. Well, who's what? in the lead to get that so far? It's Kaylee. 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 Who's in the lead, in the lead to get that so what? far? Hannah has got diddly squid. Hannah, what is happening? Tiki 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 Kaylee, as I said before, you're on the lead. You can be the winner so far. Tez, you've got ten as well. Same as Beck. Come on, Kaylee. Andy, what do you think about that? 235. You're winning. That's that means fun. that you might get the portable DVD here at 11 o'clock today. Uh, DVD. You're going to end up winning at the end of the whole weekend on the CBC Channel. We're here. To... Oh, yeah. nice. Blah blah blah. So blah 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 <laughs> blah 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 blah. Eh. Try and relax. Sit down, raise your left leg, and breathe out. Put your right leg over your left shoulder, and breathe in. your other arm, bend your leg behind your other arm and leg, twisting while you move yourself and your legs 
into the next yoga position to return to your original position simply switch to the second CD It's a new game! It's the All Electric Granny Snug Quiz. We've been waiting for it all week. It's going to be a good one. Please welcome three grannies! Woo! Oh, wow. look at them. Lovely. Oh, they're all fancy. Them, are they? Get in your wheelchair. Like Come on, your legs are going a bit funny. You need to get in your wheelchair. That's it. You get, now get in your wheelchair. Lovely. Right then, this is a bit of a quiz, this game, because here we have three grannies. At this end, we've got three bungalow heads in green, blue and red chairs. And in the middle here, they're in pairs, you see, because these bungalow heads have got green, blue and red dots on them. They are their corresponding team. You have to answer a question for your teammate. If you get the question right, the granny will stay put. But if you get the question wrong, she'll start wheeling herself towards your bungalow head teammate. Because basically, these grannies want a good old snog. Stay your grannies, eh? The idea of the game is to get as many questions right as possible so you don't stitch your teammate up. The winner of this game will get... How many points? Because it's a new game. 300 bungalow points. 300 bungalow points. The loser will just get a nice big lick on the old chops. Right then, OK, are we ready? Yes? Ready? Ready, grannies? Lovely, right, right, lovely. OK, then, I'm going to ask you the first question, Beck. You're green and your corresponding team member is Ted. You've got to get this right, remember, or you might get a snog off the granny. OK, Beck, what word can follow elder, goose, black and straw? What word can follow elder, goose, black and straw? Do you know? Three, two, one. It was Barry! Right, that means you got the question wrong. Slap a wrong sticker on her head. Wrong! Next question. Jordan, here's your question. <clears throat> Which of the four seasons do Americans call the fall? Autumn. Autumn, correct. Right answer. Stick it on him. Right. <laughs> right, next, next, next. Right, OK. Uh, right, then, ready, uh, Kaylee? What three-letter word can be a writing implement and enclosure for animals? A pen. Correct. Slap a right sticker. Right, in the first round, you can see that Beck got the question wrong. That means Beck, your corresponding team member, is Tez. Your granny will now take her first step towards him. Oh, no, the batteries are broken. Oh. Is it turned on? Oh, a new game's on the bungalow. Ah, it's on. Go on. Yeah, oh. <laughs> Is this way a bit? Yeah, no, you're going backwards. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, that's it. Forward. <laughs> you're going to get oh. to the red line, love. Here you are. Come on, we've only got oh, yeah, 35 minutes. Come yeah. on. Forward. That's it. Yeah, love it. Forward. Oh, stop. stop! Right, stop! Right, yeah, no. <laughs> Stop! Ah! Right. Me over. She's in position, OK. Round two, starting off with Beck again. No! Right then, Beck. What part of an elephant is also the name for a large box in which clothes are kept? What part of an elephant? A trunk, correct. Right Whoa. answer to Beck there, Don. Slap it on her head. Right. right then, Jordan. How many books make up a trilogy? Three. Three is correct. Right. Whoa. Right then, Kaylee, Granny Smith and Golden Delicious are both varieties of which fruit? Hmm? Granny Smith and Golden Delicious are both varieties of which fruit? Nobody help her. Kaylee. No. Nope. Remember, well, you get Tasha sacked. might get a snog here if you don't get this right. Three, two, one, wrong! Right, that means Kaylee, the answer was apple. Tasha, your granny's now going to take her first steps Wait, towards you. Right, hold on a minute. Let up, switch, on! Right, go! Oh, I'll push it. <laughs> Come on, love. You can't push it, it's electric! I <laughs> know, it's just slow. <laughs> this is what you want to watch on a Saturday morning, isn't it, eh? That's it. Ah, yeah. Right, and that was round two. Round three, starting off with Beck. Nag is a slang term for what animal? A nag. Three. <laughs> A two. I don't know. A one. It's a horse. You got it wrong. Second question to Jordan. Uh, do reptiles have warm or cold blood? Reptiles. Um, cold. 
Cold, correct. Right answer. And Kaylee, what part of the body is treated by an optician? Heart. Heart. No, it's the eyes. Kaylee's wrong, and oh, so is there. Beck. So Beck and Kaylee's grannies will take another step towards Tez and Tasha, their teammates. Forward you go, Granny. Oh no. Ah, oh, hey, hey. Love it. Hey, love it. All right, there you are. That, that was round three, round four. <laughs> How long does this go on? Beck, which oh, this is the final up. round. Beck, which country did minestrone soup originate from? Italian. Italy, yes, correct yeah. answer. Jordan, what is the name given to a young elephant, a young cow, and a young whale? Um, a calf. A calf, a calf, a calf, yeah. Right, there you are, nice one, right, correct. Kaylee, what is the last vowel in the English alphabet? The last vowel. You. You is correct. They all got it right. Right, round five. OK, Beck. Them all off. Stockholm is the capital of which country? Stockholm. I don't know. You don't know? Wrong. It's Sweden. Uh, Jordan, is California on the west coast or east coast of the United States? West coast. West coast, correct. Right. And Kaylee, what is the nationality of the pop group Westlife? Where are they from? Where? Um, no, I don't know. Ireland. Oh, oh you don't know. Say you actually right. wrong. Yeah, wrong. Right, OK, then. Beck and Kaylee's grannies take another step towards Tez and Tasha. She's getting there. She's getting there. She's getting there. She's getting there. She's going to give them a snog. Wait, because they love Get a kiss. Get a, get a kiss. Ah! Oh, Go on, you're going to get a kiss. Ah! You have all been part of the all-electric granny snog quiz. And Hannah, you're the winner of 300 bungalow yeah! points, and so is Jordan. Marvellous. 300 bungalow points each. And uh, now a word from our sponsors. How do you feel that all went? <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Right then, it's, uh, it's time for bogeys. You like a bit of bogeys? Yeah, you got some running down your chin anyway, so you must like it. <laughs> it's parent bogeys. Bogey bogeys next week, Granny. <laughs> parent bogeys. <laughs> We're in the art of London town at a numero uno Italian restaurant for an all-day breakfast, a linguine and some parent bogeys. Parent bogeys indeed, dicky 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 woo -wa. Now, Jamie over here... Bogeys? ...has written a letter to the BBC saying that his daddy, Glenn... Bogeys? ...can shout out bogeys louder than young Nicholas. It's not possible, and the bogeyometer will tell us that, won't it? Yes. Yeah. As we go and get stuck in and have some nosh. Nosh. Welcome to this fine Italian eatery. Prepare to be bolognesed by some lip-smacking, finger-licking... Bogies. 1.2 from a court. Bogey. Daddy Glenn. 1.3, the narrowest. Margins, look of relief there on his son Jamie's face. As we thought. Works the ketchup and the bogey. 2.5. Jamie, relentless in his encouragement of his father, thin on top, bogey. drinks his pop and delivers his bogey. It's a 3.4. Molto bene. Enjoy that. Uh, Actually, very tasty. Appears to be in even more distress than court. And he's not even playing. <laughs> what will the court's response be? Bogies. There it is. It's a fine, ripe, plum tomato. It's a 4.0. <laughs> <Come on, Dad. laughs> that, um, that well-known lull just happened over the whole restaurant. Bogies! <laughs> Not for long. Daddy Glenn, 4.7, lifts the energy of this match once again. The, um, the people on the table next to us start off being all nice and jolly and happy. They suddenly turned ugly. <laughs> Wood keeping a close eye on the crowd. As he monitors this match and supports his teammate. Bogies! His teammate hits a 5.8, <laughs> raising the stakes in this restaurant. Come on, Dad. Really, really long. What's Daddy Glenn got? Bogies! Knock if you see me, ravioli carbonara, jam roly poly. It's a 6.2. <laughs> Not 
nonchalant air about Daddy Glenn for an amateur. Oh dear. It appears Wood's getting the fear. I don't like it. Feeling the strain. Maybe he has lost it. Although McCourt, it seems, determined to see this through to the cheese and biscuits. No, no. Bogies! It's a 7.3. Oh, a fine, fine bogey. Bogies! Daddy Glenn puts the chips down firmly on the table with an 8.4. No, please. And Wood. Wood has bottled it. Wood's asking for the bill. It can't be good for morale. McCourt. Oh, you can feel the effort that went into that 8.9. And this is no longer an Italian restaurant. It is the Circus Maximus, an arena where mighty gladiators do mortal battle. Oh, my word, that was close, but only an 8.3 from Daddy Glenn. That's a stroke of luck from a court. Daddy Glenn fails to cut the mustard by 0.6 of a crow point. Let's take a look at the winner one more time. Bogey! It's parent six, Dick and Dom too. He won, Nocky Fungi, because he lost Papadella Mozzarella, which means you guys get to be squid and you get to pay our bill. And we go for a nice frothy coffee. <laughs> Got to worry, son, maybe next time. Okay. Off. Oh, that was nice, wasn't it? Nice, hey? nice photo shot of it. And that was a paused moment. That was the last, last pair of bogeys. I won it, Torres. Well done. Well, I think we lost the whole thing. I think we did lose the Next shopping. weekend, it's fogey bogeys. If you've got a gran or a granddad that wants to play bogeys, then tell us right in to our usual address. Stick it on with a bungalow. PO Box 389. Any old granddad or granny that you've got in your house, under the stairs, in the cupboard, bring them out and play fogey bogeys. If you didn't catch the address, by the way, why don't you go to the website and have a look for the address there? And if you haven't got the computer, talk. Very nice of you. Let's have a look at the scores again. Hannah's got 300, Tasha's got 205, Jordan's got 530, Beck's got 10, Katie's got 275, and Tez has got 10. Now then, Beck, Tez, come over here. 10 bungalow points, 1 hour 35 minutes into the show. Stand on here. It's going to be a doppelganger. It is. Ganger. What's it called? Uh, uh, yeah, a, a doppelganger. doppelganger. There we are. It's because a doppelganger. What's happened? 10 bungalow points? And a snog off a granny? It's I not, don't know. Not very good, is Come it? Come on. <laughs> so, you got your pants on your head, and now you go... I've got my head in my head. I want to be in the sun. 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 And they were clean on just last week. Yeah! Oh, yes, they were. Oh, thank God. Yeah, yeah, baby, look at them. They're going to dance in the past. Just try. They're going to take. You've officially danced in your head. I did it, I did it. Exactly, never. Exactly. How did you feel? Did you like it? It's funny. It's funny. It's funny. It's funny. It's funny. It's funny. We don't humiliate them if I don't funny. Thank you very much to Gail, who's 40. 40? 40. 40. 40. Never, wow. never say a woman's age. Hey. And she's from Lancashire. Dear Dick and Dom, I'm sending you these bloomers for your dance in your pants bit. Oh, man. There they are. Big is beautiful. Lovely. What that um, big? Why don't, you, why don't you get uh, in a leg each and practice what you preach and dance in these pants? I'll be watching. Well, oh, next week. Then. Give us the next question. Give us the, there, oh. There's a picture of her, by the way. That's Gail there. Yeah, yeah, lovely That's old Gail. Right. Go on, then read the All right, then, uh, this one's from... I can't get in. This one's from... Ah, Imogen Ward! There she is. Lots of pants everywhere. Lovely. Ta she says lots of things, but Ear. we don't know. As well as Fogey Bogey, strangely talented is back soon on yes. the bungalow. Yes. So if you've got a strange talent, send it into that address mm. again. Oh, and this is, look, this is strange talent. These are the kind of things we're looking for. Any uncles or, or aunties? Or, or monkeys uncles? Yeah, or anything. Anyone you know that can do anything strange, like can you make your eyes flicker really quickly? Or can you do a magical trick? Or anything, anything! Just as <laughs> stupid. Could win a great prize, it's the Mounted Fruitcake. Yeah, the Nutty Fruitcake Award. Maybe do you want, you should we show them the address again? But uh, Dick and Dom in a bungalow, strangely talented. It is again. This programme's just full of addresses this morning! <laughs> My word! Right, you're very lucky it's a very pretty address, isn't it? It's very pretty. Would you like, would you like the pants? No. Well, where are you going? Okay. What? Oh, are you sneaking off? What? 
Are you sneaking? Shut up, you're coming you can't be on. Sneak. Sneaky little ear, who wants to wear them? I right, wear them for the rest of the show. We might get, we'll give you 20 bungalow points if you wear them for the rest of the show. Go oh, on, stick them on. No, don't fight about it, stick them on! Tar! I'm not going to sing. Luckily. Wood, you are a most remarkable creature. You can spend a lifetime learning all there is to know about you. And yet you can still surprise me. In a pinch. <laughs> you need a concept or raw materials for the ultimate fighting contraption. You gotta name it, and then you send it into action! As you can see, yes, our naked battle bots are here, but they're not just one. No, they are twins. Look, they they've are. got four legs and two more, heads. More doppelgangers. More doppelgangers. This show is just full of doppelgangers. Hang on, give me a microphone. OK, now here's the deal. Bungalow heads, you split yourselves up into two teams of three. That's three in each team and two lots of them. <clears throat> OK, so basically you've got one minute on the clock to stop fighting now. All right, you've got to build a two-headed monster. You're 60 seconds, your time starts now. Go! Build the monster. We'll take on the Come on. for you as well. Come on, do whatever Don't you want. Don't worry. Like Remember to name it at the end as and well. And you can paint it. You can build it. All right, let's stick everything on here. There we go. Hang on, we need to stick this on. A bit of that. There we are. Wait, wait, wait. There we are. Come on, you've got to build a lean, mean, fighting trumpet. That's it. Come on, we need more things. Get that on the arm. Arm, we need an arm. Oh, no, we haven't got any arms. What's that? Yeah, less paint, more bits. 20 seconds left, come on, bungalow heads. Wait, no more paint, we need to stick things now. Pass. Oh, yeah, write the name of the battle bots. Write the name of the battle bots. Write down the name, write down Pat. the name, someone, write Pat. down the name. Pat. There we are, they are done, write down your names, bungalow heads. Have you written down the names? OK, so first of all, with this machine, stand up. The hairy ones. Come on, hairy ones, stand up. Twin turbo. Good. Now, let's right, meet BattleBot number one. Two awesome heads and several mighty limbs. His enemies run in fear when the battle begins. And his name is, yes, his name is... BombBot. Bombot. It's Bombot. Welcome and to the arena of Armageddon. And, and, and why not? And why not? Um, okay, like clear all that stuff out. Right. All right then. Stand up, the baldies, the baldy slapheads. Hope you get all right. Steady on. Stop it. Come on. Calm down. Hope you get. Here we are. Hold that up. Let's meet the twin, twin turbo battle number two. He's a techno freak with a split personality. Even his name defies rationality. Yes, it is. Big fat bogey. Big fat Bogey. bogey's butt bot. bot. Right, the idea of the game is perfectly civil. The wait, wait, not yet. Fighters, these lot. These two twin turbo battle bots are going to be fighting it out in the... The arena of Armageddon. No! The arena of double Armageddon. The arena of double Armageddon. It's 
It's the best of three rounds. You've got to push your battle bot out of the ring and you'll get a point for each one. Best of three rounds. Bungle our heads. Are, are you ready? ready? Yeah. 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 Battle yeah. Battle yeah. Wait, battle Wait. Wait. Go! <laughs> They're on the Into the floor. So that was a uh, big fat bogey butt bot was pushed out of the ring. That means that my team, Bumbot, get uh, the I first point. I don't think points. they can get up. Can you get yeah, up? I think we need to. Uh, no. Hold on, right, oh, well, around. that should be interesting. Oh, all right, come oh, on, that'll be a get. Come on, for goodness oh, sake, stop labouring oh, it. Oh, right, on, so that right, means right. if big bogey butt bot bogey bum man uh, get pushed out again and they lose. Right then, bungalow heads, are you ready? Yeah! Battle bots, are, are you ready? Three, two, two one. Bumbot's got two spoons, but Bumbot's got a fork. And it looks like he's going to use it. Fork it! Fork it! There he goes. Double the air. Double the attraction. Some double act action. Double the battle bots. Double the fun. And this really is quite a contest. Bumbot resisting there. But Bumbot is about to go out of the ring. No, but he's out of the arena. They're both down. Who was the winner? That means, oh, they got pushed out. The big bogey bum men butt, bot, butty butts. They got pushed out the second one. They went out first. Did they? Yeah. All right, then. They went out first. Right, that means we have a winner already. The winner is Bumbot. Yeah. We'll just have to leave him on the floor there because we can't get him up again. Well done, Bumbot. Yeah. Nice one. Bumbot is the victor. There can be only one. Big butts. Was crushed, blown into oblivion. Bumbot is the champion. Bumbo, no battle. Bot. Yes, Bumbot won it by two to zero. So oh. That means that Jordan, Hannah, and Tess all get 50 bungalow points each. <laughs> Oh, I nice. think that's the full time whistle. I think that means we need to go and pass out. Oh, is it over? Is it? Oh, ah. Hold on. What's that? What on earth is that? It's a man with a TV. <laughs> Sometimes we say happy birthday. Sometimes we say happy Christmas. Sometimes we say happy Easter. But today we're saying happy Halloween. Oh, look at the bungalow. It's all been decorated. We're having one big Halloween party. We've got cookies. Yeah. We've got rice cakes. Crispy cakes. We've even got twiglets. Oh, love mm. We've got pumpkins, bungalow heads. We're all dressed up. You've all done very well with your pumpkins, painting them up for Halloween. Them. They look lovely. It's Halloween, bungalow heads. It's trick or treat time. Hey. You can make some sweets if you to people's doors. And if you go Halloweening and trick or treating, make sure you bring an adult with you. <gasps> hey. Look at it. Felt like it was on Blue Peter then. <sighs> right then, is it time to light the lanterns? I hope so. Light up your orange vegetable. Oh. What's, What's that, that mean? Oh, no. What's that mean? Look, the party's all gone wrong now. Pumpkin's heads have revolted. They've come together. Oh no. What are we gonna do, Bungalow Heads? We need to get them away. We need to get rid of them with something. What could we use? Um, I know, I know, I've got it. How about a toffee apple? Everyone take one, yeah, wait. That'll get rid of back, that. Bungalow Heads. Back, back, back. Ready? Open the door. <laughs> <laughs> Will you go away if we give you a toffee apple? Uh, uh, oh. Oh, ah, quick, get in, get in, get in! Yes? You know your toffee apple. Um, yes. yes. 
I dropped it down the land. <laughs> A microwave meal for one. Oh. Yeah, I'll get rid of him. Right, give it him. Give him. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. Uh, hello. Uh -huh. um, I was wondering if you'd go away if we um, if we give you a microwave meal for one. Oh. It, it's really it's nice. Yeah, they're right. going. Oh, they're yeah, going. Brilliant. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 been invaded by many root crops. Marrows, courgettes, I know they're not root crops and I don't care. Butternut squash, turnips, parsnips, but this is the first time we've had any problems with pumpkins. Bungalow heads, dicky doodah, I love you, and we're not going to suffer in the hands or the heads of pumpkins. We are going to unite. We will fight together. We will pick up the creamy bungalow heads. Get to my and ready. Kayla, come here. Why? Why are you giving points to Kayla? Oh, Kayla. Because she's got the most points already. Oh, that seems like a fair thing to do, then, doesn't it? Oh, how many points do you want to give her? Two hundred and fifty. Hey, thank you very much. Unbelievable. Here we are. Let's have a look at your score, Katie. You now have a grand total. We had two hundred and fifty to Katie's score. You've got a grand total of. Uh, uh, 225, 125. 525. Nice one, Kenny. Thank you, almighty kid. We've got the punch. It's the beginning of the end of the show. Yeah, it's the beginning of the show. Line up bungalow heads. Let's find out who the loser is. Is it going to be Hannah or Tasha or Jordan or Beck or Kaylee or Ted? Hannah, Tasha, Jordan, Beck, Kaylee or Ted. The loser of Dick and Omini Bungalow on Saturday morning is Becky. 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 Beck, Beck. 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 Make sure you don't slip on a pumpkin and come this way. Into the toilets. Come on, Beck. Into the lab for a nice, that good way. Go on into the lab. If you don't get the rest of the bungalow heads, scores, we can see that the Winner of Saturday morning's bungalows, Jordan with 580. Jordan gets the portable DVD player. Look at that. Wow. With the magic yeah, remember tomorrow morning it could all change on the CBBC channel at 9 o'clock yeah. tomorrow morning. Who's Join us then for more. Is yeah, it? Go on, you... Is it? No, Jordan's won. Oh, right. Okay. Jordan is the winner. Well done, oh, mate. No. Oh, and by the way, 
Oh, I see all these people here. They're all next on top of the pop Saturday. Nice. Isn't that great? So stay watching CBBC because it's great. Now then, Beck lost today's bungalow. She only got 10 bungalow points. We're going to have to give her a darn good feathering, tarring, rice crispying, whatever it is. We're going to pour some stuff on yeah. her head. After five, five, five four, four, three, three two, one. Go! Yes! Ah, yeah! Oh, no, she's too a nice bungalow edge. Tomorrow morning, please remember, 9 o'clock on the CBC channel. We shall see you then for more Dick and Dom in the bungalow. Bye! It's not a bad bungalow! Halloween weekend! Let's have it! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! I want to kiss an octopus, is that wrong? So, remember kids, it's Halloween, it's fantastic, it's very, very scary. But don't be scared and sleep tonight. Thank you. Da -da.